Hey guys, Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. So previously I have shown you how uh, this screens work. This is an ALR screen and these are specifically designed for this kind of projector. This is the BABA 4K Ultra Short Roll Laser Projector. So I've shown you and I've reviewed uh, many different screens before, but I never actually shown you how to install it, how to properly install it when you have your projector ready and your furniture and everything. So in this video, I'm gonna go through it step by step so that way you guys know if you are getting one of these screens or thinking of getting one of these screens, how to properly install it. All right guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Jolster and let's do this. All right guys, so before we start, I'm gonna tell you what you're going to need to get everything installed properly. So first I'm gonna go through the tools, which is very simple. I have an electric screwdriver. This is very, very basic. I bought this at Walmart for like around $20. And trust me, this has probably one of be one of the best investments you can you're going to have because it just works great. I've been using it for about two or three years already, and it's still working. Also, you're going to need a, a measuring tape. This is very basic, but you're gonna need one, all right? And I'm assuming you already have the bolts and all the hardware for your screen. Every every time you buy a screen, it comes, it should come with everything, all right? And finally, you're going to need an, also a balance tool. So I don't have one, but let me show you what I'm using. So you can, if you have a phone, obviously you're gonna have a phone. You can use one, download an app, and just get the balance tool ready on your phone this is very useful also guys another tool that is very essential is going to be a start finder now and this will depend on what kind of wall you have in my case i have a drywall as you guys notice so i need to find the studs in order for me to hang the screen otherwise the whole thing will just come off if you don't use the studs all right so a stud finder is very essential if you have a brick wall, then I recommend you to have a, a, you know, a drill, a specific drill and a drill bit for that brick wall. You don't have to worry about the stud finder. You can pretty much drill anywhere, but you're going to have a special like a drill for that. This is not going to make it. All right, guys. So another basic thing that you guys are going to need is that make sure that you have everything together. And what I mean is that, that you already have the screen with you, your 4K laser projector or ultra short laser projector and the furniture that you're going to need. This is very basic because everything depends on, on the pretty much on the furniture and then also on the distance that you want to have the screen. Notice how my screen is not that high. The reason being is because I want the screen to be almost at the same height as my eyes when I'm sitting. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. This is what I, what I see when I'm sitting right here. This is exactly what I see. Notice how my eyes, the screen is actually at the level of my eyes. So that way I don't have to you know, look up or down. So everything is measured depending on the furniture that you have. So let me just show you how much uh, it measures my furniture. All right guys, so let me show you the measurements of my furniture. And this one is around 20 inches tall. Yeah, 20 inches tall by, I think it's around 20 inches in depth. Yes, 20 inches. So this works perfect for me because the throwing distance from the projector and the and the height of this furniture makes me or gives me the, the opportunity to lower my screen. You notice I have a 100 inch screen. So now I'm able to see it even lower. The lower, the, the, the smaller the furniture is, then the lower the screen is going to be. For me, this is perfect for my height for and for everything. And also the projector, this is uh, the VAVA projector. So it's projecting a 100 inch screen. And notice the distance from the, from the wall, the projector from the wall, that's about 10 inches. That's roughly around 10 inches. So if I want the projector to be more centered, all I have to do is just pull the furniture to the front and, and just pull the, the projector back. And that's it. But to me, it's not a big deal. Actually, I like it like that because I have more access to all the cables and everything. And also, it, will, it just gave me the space, the perfect space 
to uh, wall mount my soundbar right over there so i like it all right guys so i removed the screen so that way you guys can see behind behind the screen what's going on and everything and look at this just an ugly big big screen also i'm going to show you where i placed the brackets and what is the distance the distance that you need to place the brackets to correctly get this screen aligned so the measurements that you're going to need length from side to side is going to be 97 inches okay if you want to project a 100 inch screen make sure that side to side length is going to be 97 inches diameter from top to bottom is going to be 109 inches that's how i have it and that is exactly what i had the projector projecting 100 inch screen so just keep that in mind also these brackets these are the ones that are going to hold the screen these are very very important okay let me show you how far they are from the top of the screen and these are going to be exactly 10 and a half inches all right i don't know if you guys can see it but it's all the way over there and it's exactly 10 and a half inches that's where this is exactly where the screen is going to be sitting so that's where you want to make sure that it's 10 and a half inches same on the other side and also make sure that this is where you're going to use your balance tool make sure they're well balanced otherwise the screen is going to be looking all crooked and trust me just one little a little off balance and the whole screen is going to look ugly very very bad so that's basically it remember those those measurements those numbers and this is if you want to uh to if you're using a 100 inch screen now if you have a, a 120 or something bigger or something smaller everything is going to be changing all right this is going to work for a 100 inch screen once you get that guys make sure that you place the projector exactly where you want it to be notice how mine is almost like centered in the in the tv stand and that is where it's projecting these measurements so this is very important that way you already know exactly where the projector is going to be sitting when you install the screen so now let me uh hang the screen up again you guys can see the final work all right guys so i put the screen back again and notice how everything is aligned everything is correctly so those are the numbers that you're going to need in order for you to get this very very close to have it perfectly aligned now just in any case if you don't have it perfectly aligned then you can correct it on your settings from the the projector so let's go into the projector settings real quick we're going to go into the settings and this is we're going to enter the keystone adjustment so over here then we're going to go to keystone correction now this projector has two options this is the four point and there's also an eight point right here so the eight point you're going to have more options available here but in my case i honestly i really like the four point i think it's just like faster notice how everything is aligned correctly right here in the four point this is what i'm using once you're done you just go over here and then says select the termine and that's it that way it's saved and you are set to go my friend so just in case if you want to use the eight point then you're going to have to get the measurements correctly and then also press the termine and you are set to go let me go back over here let's go back to hdmi number number two that's where i have my my fire stick going on now after you're done oh let me see jesus all right so after you're done guys if you need to move your projector out of here no problem don't worry about getting it uh, out of you know alignment because when you move it around then it's just easier very easy for you to know where it's going to be placed again if you move it ah let's say that you move it like this notice how everything is out of balance all you have to do is just place it back again play it around with it and you can easily have it corrected again it's going to be so so easy to get everything aligned 
the first thing to do is just go through the basics that I show you. After that, you can take it away from here. You can put another thing. You can put a TV. I, I'm constantly moving this around, but I already know that it's going to get the screen size correctly. The important thing is the screen where it's placed. And that's it. You guys are set to go. All right, guys. So thank you for stopping by. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. If this was useful to you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.